Hey, what is going on you guys? Today, we are going to be having a beginner Python for finance lesson focused on making financial charts using matplotlib. And you can see here, this is what our finished product will look like. So we're gonna have a portfolio diversification visualization, a capital gains visualization, as well as tracking Tesla stock price over time. So with that being said, let's go ahead and dive into the video. Okay, so the first thing that I need to do in order to start making financial visualizations in Python is I need to import the matplotlib library from Python. So to do that, I'm just going to add code right there at the top and type out import matplotlib.pyplot as plt. I'm going to run this code, and if you see a green check mark right there, you know that the code is working. So let's go ahead and start creating our chart. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to title this chart. So to do that, you're going to see I'm going to type out plt.title open parentheses and add quotations. I'm just going to title this portfolio diversification. And I'll end it with quotations and parentheses and I'll hit enter. So now we need to add our X labels and our Y labels. So I'm going to do something similar. I'm going to type out plt.x label and in parentheses and quotations, I'm just going to title this market value. And then I'm going to do almost the exact same thing for my Y label. So plt.y label. And for this one, I'm going to title this stock symbol. And now we need to assign our Y values and our X values. So for my Y values, all I'm going to do is type out the market value of the stocks that I own in my portfolio. So this will just be an example. So I'll type out 40, 30, we'll say... 15, 20, and 25. So we'll say I own five stocks in my portfolio. And for my X values, I'm gonna list the stocks that I own in my portfolio. So we'll say I own um, AT&T, maybe Verizon, and we'll say I also own some Apple stock. And then for our last two, we can say that I own Tesla as well as, let's say, Coca-Cola. And so now we're ready to actually make our chart. And for a portfolio diversification chart, we wanna make a pie chart. So you'll see, I'm gonna type out plt.py and in open parentheses, I'm gonna list my Y value. And then for my labels, I'm gonna do labels equals X. And I'm gonna come down one more time and to show this chart, I'm just gonna type out plt.show open parentheses and I'm gonna run this code. And you can see here, I now have my portfolio diversification chart in Python. So now let's go ahead and move on and start making our capital gains chart. And for our capital gains chart, it'll be a somewhat similar setup. To start out, we are gonna to wanna to plot our title, our X label and our Y label. So I'm gonna start out typing out plt.title again, and let's go ahead and title this capital gains. And let's jump down here again, and now we wanna plot our X label, and we wanna make this our dollar amount. So I'll type that out, and now we need to come down again and plot our Y label, and we'll title this one stock symbol. And again, once I do this, what I need to do is I need to assign some Y values and X values. So just like last time, I'm gonna say my Y values are just some random numbers. We'll just make numbers up for this for how much I've made in capital gains from each of these stocks. So we'll say 40, 30, 25, 15, and 35. So let's come down here and list out the stocks that we have made capital gains on. So I'll list out, again, AT&T, we'll say Verizon, and we'll list off Tesla, and we can list off Apple and the Coca-Cola company. And for a capital gains chart, we probably want this to be a bar chart. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna type out plt.bar, open parentheses, put our X, and we want our height column to be our Y values. So we'll do height equals Y, and we will come down here again and we will do plt.show open parentheses. And let's run this code, see if it works. And it looks like it is working. Now we have our capital gains chart as a bar chart. So now we have a visualization for seeing which stocks we've made the most money on. So now for our final chart, we wanna plot 
Tesla's stock price over time. So let's go ahead and jump down here and just like the first two, we are going to start it out the exact same way. We want to plot the title and we will just title this Tesla stock ticker, so TSLA. And we'll close that off with parentheses. And now we need to plot an X label and a Y label. And for my X label, let's go ahead and label this date. And for our Y label, let's go ahead and label this one as our stock price. And now we need to assign values to our Y and our X. So for our Y, we want to track Tesla stock price over time. So let's just go ahead and get some random sample data and we'll give it a 650 stock price, 675, 580, 675, and 700. And then for our X values, since we're plotting it over time, we need to assign it some dates. So we'll say January 5th, so we'll do 1 slash 05. And then we'll just go up in five day increments. So we'll have January 10th, January 15th, January 20th, and January 25th. Now in order to chart Tesla stock price over time, all we need to do is we'll come below this and we are going to type out plt.plot and then we're just going to assign it our x value and our y value. And using the dot plot should allow it to just make a simple line graph. And we'll come out just like we have and do plt.show open parentheses and let's go ahead and run this code. And it looks like it has correctly made our chart. We have our title, X label, and our Y label. And it looks like it is correctly charting Tesla stock price over time. So there you have it. That was a beginner lesson on how to create financial charts using Python. If you have any questions, be sure to ask in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching the video and please don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel.